Dear guests, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Ricky Ho, the Chief Engineer of Transport Department. It's my pleasure to be invited by the University of Hong Kong to be one of the panelists for this section about the open data of public transport operators. For me, opening the transport data is a journey. We have just started our journey not so long. We will have a long road to run and have many opportunities to make this journey better. Today, I would like to share what transport department have been taking part in this journey and what is my expectation for the remaining part of the journey. First of all, I would like to highlight the current situation of public transport in Hong Kong. Hong Kong has more than 7.4 million of population with around 13 million daily passenger trips on the public transport, which is about 19% of the total passenger trips. For this, Hong Kong can be ranked as having one of the top public transport system around the world that provide efficient and affordable public transport services. But what can we do more to further improve the service? Under the idea of smart mobility, I think we can leverage more on open data and better use of big data analytic technology. For this, Transport Department has developed our own strategy to put forward various initiatives of smart mobility. There are three main areas. First, Transport Department will provide smart transport infrastructure and roads to provide more information and data for better control and management of our transport system. Under this, Transport Department has recently completed the installation of over 1,200 traffic detectors on strategic and major roads to collect more real-time traffic information. We also install real-time adaptive traffic signal system on a few locations in Hong Kong under our pilot project. Second, we aim to share more traffic and transport information to the public. As green minibuses, are operated by many companies, and some of them are just small companies. The government builds the real-time arrival data system for all green minibuses and, op and open this collected data to the public. Together with other real-time arrival data provided by other transport operators, we also enhance our own application, Hong Kong e-mobility to integrate and disseminate those information to the general public. With more data collected by us, we will also try to make use of the big data technology to make a better analysis and forecast of traffic situation. Lastly, we will also provide new applications and services for the public, such as one of our recent projects the new on-street parking meters. Other than introduction of more payment means on this system, we also provide real-time on-street parking vacancies information under this project. In the area of open data, on one hand, Transport Department has uploaded 26 data sets of these data on data.gov.hk which are all in machine-readable format for application developers to use. Some of them are well received by the public. For example, the latest monthly access count of our traffic snapshot is over 240 million. Our traffic news is about 19 million. And the real-time parking date vacant data is about 12 million. On the other hand, we continue to encourage public transport operators to open up their data. So far, city bus, new welfare bus, land town bus, some lines of MTR, Kowloon motor bus, long wing bus, 
have opened up their ETA data. In April this year, MTR will also open up their ETA for LRT lines. For green minibus, what I have said, we have already opened up 75 routes in March this year. And we open up the remaining routes by N2022. All of this data can be freely assessed through our Hong Kong e-mobility or Datadog GeoVidoxK. We hope with this data, the open data market can be groomed in Hong Kong. On the traffic data analysis area, with those newly available real-time data obtained from transport services and detectors on road, we are now developing a system by applying big data technology to analysis these data together with other information from traffic incidents and weather to provide more reliable real-time suggestions on trips. This will also enhance our capacity for handling traffic incidents. As what I've said, the government is not the sole player on this journey. The collaboration amongst public and private sector is essential. As many traffic operation information is owned by different companies, Smart City is a collaborative effort of the whole society. So I urge those participants is willing, is very willing to share their data with the public. My wish is to have a closer relationship with those operators and to enhance our communication mechanism with them so that they can more ready to open up their data to the public for the benefit of the society. This is the end of my sharing. Thank you.